Welcome back to our channel, Immigration Quick Take. We hope you are doing well. Do you know the Biden administration is almost there with revising the cap on employment based green cards? In this video, we will go through the topic in brief. So, to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end. Please hit the like, subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Well, the number of employment based green cards. Immigrant visa allowed for fiscal year 2022 will soon be reached by the Biden administration. As of August 31st, 263,510 employment based immigrant visas had been issued by US Citizenship and Immigration Services, which is close to the maximum of 281,507. Compared to last year, when tens of thousands of potential visas remained unclaimed, this is a significant improvement. However, it does not get rid of the enormous backlog of visa requests for several nations. According to existing immigration law, the annual cap on immigrant visas is set at 4,80,000 for family-based immigrants, 1,40,000 for those coming for work and 55,000 for those selected through the diversity visa lottery. However, if any family-based visas remain unclaimed by year's end, the number of unused visas is added to the annual cap for employment-based immigrants the following year. Well, after the COVID-19 pandemic began in 2020, a significant number of immigrant permits remained unclaimed. U.S. embassies and consulates around the world closed in the spring of that year in reaction to the outbreak. Additionally, the Trump administration announced an immigration visa uh, block that excluded some groups of people who would otherwise be eligible to enter the country under present law. Due to this, about 1,22,000 of the family-based visas allocated by fiscal year 2020 were not used. The overall number of employment-based visas allocated for fiscal year 2021 increased by that amount, reaching almost 2,62,000. But the Biden administration failed to utilize 66,781 of the employment-based visas for fiscal year 2021 and 141,430 of the family-based visas offered last year when the COVID uh, pandemic's effects were still being felt throughout the system. Unfortunately, the family-based visas that were not utilized were added to the employment-based visa allocation for fiscal year 2022, while the unused employment-based visas were lost. This resulted in a record-breaking 281,507 employment-based visas being made available in fiscal year 2022. As of August 31st, the Department of State has granted 2,63,510 employment-based visas, which means that the organization will end the fiscal year having granted all eligible visas. The quota on employment-based visas for fiscal year 2023 will be increased by the expected 60,000 family-based immigrant visas that will not be used this year. Adding to the losses uh, from the previous two years, this would significantly widen the family-based immigration processes already lengthening backlogs. Oh, even uh, while uh, this is a significant improvement over last year, it still doesn't get rid of the massive backlog and wait times that some country visa applications endure. The number of permanent immigrants uh, from any one nation is now limited to no more than 7% of all immigrants who enter the United States in a given year. This arbitrary quota substantially restricts immigrant, uh, immigration from nations that have strong economic and social links to the US, especially family-based immigrants from Mexico and employment-based immigrants from India and China. For instance, some candidates might anticipate waiting times for up to 46 years. While the system-wide delays are understated by the present backlog figures, the significant number of situations where an immigrant visa application has been granted by the Department of Homeland Security, but the applicants are still waiting an interview at the American consulate in their country of residence is another indicator of the backlog. As of August 31st, there were 4,16,856 such cases, according to the State Department. The Biden administration must allocate adequate funds for visa processing to guarantee that the quota of immigrant visas issued each year is utilized. To assess clear the backlog of visa requests, Congress should also adopt laws allowing the recovery of immigrant permits that were misplaced in prior years. So this is it in the video. What are your thoughts on this topic? Please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. See you then in the next episode. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.